This is no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a Spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about the biblical proof of the Anunnaki Great Awakening, New World Order, with Jesus, Inki, Enlil, Anu, Ishtar, and Utu Shemesh. First a joke. What do you call a laughing motorcycle? A Yamaha. <laughs> Today, in the first part of the video, I'm going to show you biblical proof of the Great Awakening, and then, in the second part, the United Nations Agenda 21 and the myth of Inky's New World Order. This is the very last two verses of Matthew 28, 19 through 20. The Great Commission... Jesus said, Therefore go out and make disciples of every nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. Very last line of the book of Matthew. And be sure of this, Jesus says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Age of what? Jesus was the Son, S-U-N, of God in the age of Pisces. Biblical proof of Jesus in the age of Pisces. In Mark 1, 16 through 20, the first disciples. One day Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee. He was with Simon and his brother Andrew throwing a net into the water, and they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come follow me, and I will show you how to be fisher of men. And they left their nets at once and followed him. So the first of the twelve disciples meet Jesus Christ randomly and drop their boat and their way of living for their families for a man they don't even know. I don't think so. These stories are allegory. The Bible used to be called the Sun Book. Also, you will find Pisces in Matthew 4.18 and Luke 5.1-11. So we have established the age of Pisces that Jesus represented, i.e. the two fishes symbol. So the age is within the zodiac wheel. There are 12 zodiacal signs that the Sun, S-U-N, revolves around. Matthew 19.28 And Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, that you who follow me in this generation, when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So the twelve tribes, twelve disciples, represent the twelve zodiac signs within the zodiac wheel. This is precisely why in Luke 3.42, Jesus was 12 years old when he started his ministry. It's very important to note that within the age of any zodiac sign change is going to be a 30 degree switch. And this is precisely why in Luke 3.23, Jesus was about 30 years old when he started his public ministry. That being said, are we on the same page? Jesus is the sun in the center of the zodiac wheel. This changes monthly because we have 12 months in a year. Do you remember in 2012 when everyone was saying it's going to be the end of of the world. No, this was the end of the age of Pisces, which every age is 2,160 years, and every cycle of the whole zodiac sequence is 25,900 years approximate. The Pisces age was full of the dying God age or destruction, selfishness, unsustainability, 
We all know this because we lived through this. This is why I say that we're going through a purposeful change. Everything has a purpose. The universal law of cause and effect says that every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. That everything happens according to the divine law of the universe. That there is nothing to happen on God's green earth according to chance. Chance doesn't even register. But the people or the controls of this planet, whomever you want to call them, the Illuminati, the 13 families, the Saturn cults, the soul suckers, negative energy collectors, are aware of this and these laws and have been on a higher plane of existence, controlling humanity like pawns on the chessboards of life to control our moods, decisions, characters, qualities, and our personal powers. I.e. example, Trump's, President Trump's right now big investigation of the World Health Organization as one example. I can say that their time is up and the time for our planetary and personal freedom is here and now. Biblical proof that we are now in the age of enlightenment and the Anunnaki great awakening through Inkies and King Anu through Jesus Christ in Luke 22, 8-10. Jesus said, Go prepare the Passover meal for the Last Supper so we can eat it together. Where do you want us to prepare it? They asked him. Jesus replied, As soon as you enter Jerusalem, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Follow him at the house he enters. The Last Supper Passover meal is the end of Pisces, and Jesus says to follow the water bearer, Inky, the God of wisdom and knowledge, into his house, which is the house zodiac sign of Aquarius. John 14, 1 through 2. Jesus away to the Father, Inky. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, King Anu, and trust in me also. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, for I go to prepare a place for you. King Anu's mansions are the heavens, and including all the constellations of the 12 zodiac wheels. Okay, are we clear now? This information is so important, and no one, or not many, are telling you, except no one from nowhere. <laughs> this information was kept from you for you to be confused, fight about, and plainly walk in ignorance. But not anymore. You're now in the age of the Great Awakening, which means freedom technology, enlightenment, space travel, third eye opening, awareness, electricity, consciousness, group consciousness, advancement of our own inner spiritual selves, which in turn is the purification of our outer spiritual selves. We will clean up our planet, eventually at some point get off fossil fuels. In my opinion, we will be meeting the Anunnaki and other ter extraterrestrials. There will be widespread transparency, earthly peace, neighborly, kind acts, sustainable living, and we will also see the appearance of dictators and self-expression. This great awakening is opposite in many ways of Pisces, or slavery, and in sorts killing yourself to live for mere material possessions. We are going to have a higher consciousness and we'll be vibrating on higher chakra kundalini energy centers instead of the flight or fight reptilian centers of our brains currently, especially currently, being used. This age of the Great Awakening is ruled by the planet Uranus or King Anu and his son is our creator Anunnaki god Inki. We are on the cups or the dawn 
of this age. This COVID-19 coronavirus in some sort proves that we are now in this early age of the purification. Please be grateful because we are now in the best age possible for spiritual awareness and growth. But in order for us to accomplish this great feat, there will be must needed change. This will take our whole planet and nations to be on the same page or a new world order. Matthew 12, 25. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Every city, every house divided against itself will not stand. You, have you ever been in a bad relationship? <laughs> this is what he means. If you're divided, you will never achieve anything. It won't stand. This is why our planet is doing a reset. Too many chiefs and not enough Indians. And a divided house. Now we're going to discuss Inky's New World Order and the New World Order called Schedule 21 of the United Nations. Divine change comes with divine consequences. This is my opinion through research. Revelation 17, 9 through 10. This calls for a mind with understanding. The seven heads of the beast represent the seven hills where the woman rules. They also represent seven kings. Five kings have already fallen. The six now reigns. And the seventh is yet to come, but his reign will be brief. This can be taken two ways. The seven root races were in the sixth currently, in my opinion. We will not discuss any of this, but what we will discuss is what really is going on. The seven hills and the seven heads of the woman is Ishtar. She has reigned in every nation and every kingdom. The five kings whom have fallen are the kings and kingdoms which represent Egypt, Persia, Babylon, Greece, and Rome. And the sixth is America, which is now ruling. As Ishtar is home to New York City as the Statue of Liberty. This is precisely why in Revelation 17:15, the angel said to me, The waters were the prostitute or Ishtar, and by the way, the writers tremendously demonized Ishtar, is ruling, represent masses of people of every nation and language. Hence, i.e., Staten Island, New York Harbor, where every immigrant landed to come into America. Revelation 17.18 and this woman, Ishtar, you saw in your vision represents the great city that rules over the kings of the world. New York City, in my opinion. But what is the plan of King Anu, Lord Enki, and Lil Ishtar through Christ Jesus in the age of the Great Awakening? Revelation 17.17 17. For God, King Anu, and Enki, has put a plan into their minds. A plan that will carry out his purpose. They will agree to give their authority to the scarlet beast. And so the words of God will be fulfilled. Agenda 21 is a non-binding action plan of the United Nations with regard to sustainable development. It is a product of the Earth Summit. It is an action agenda for the UN, other multilateral organizations, and individual governments around the world that can be executed at local, national, and global 
levels. The 21 in Agenda 21 refers to the original target year of 2021. So they were trying to do this this year, where they were hoping to achieve their development goals by then. It has been affirmed and had had a few modifications at subsequent UN conferences. Since it found 2021 was too aggressive, its new timeline is targeting for 2030. Its aim is to achieve global sustainable, de sustainable development. One major objective of the Agenda 21 initiative is that every local government should draw its own local Agenda 21. Section 1 covers social and economic dimensions directing toward combating poverty, especially in developing countries, changing consumption patterns, promoting health, achieving a more sustainable population. So their population control is one of those. Section 2 is con conservation and management of resources for development, including atmospheric, pollution, biotechnology, radioactive waste. Section 3, roles of children and youth, business, industry, workers, strengthening the role of indigenous peoples, their communities, and farmers. Section 5, Section 5, means of implementation, includes science, technology transfer, education, international institutions, and financial mechanisms. The full text of Agenda 21 was made public at the UN conference, where in June 1992, where 178 governments voted to adopt the program. This is a non-binding action plan. I think overall it's a great idea so we can be on one page under one nation under God with the ability to think freely and go anywhere we want on this planet with the same global ideals. This relates perfectly in Inky and the New World Order in the age of, the, of Aquarius and the Great Awakening. In the first part of Inky and the New World Order, Inky deserves the great trust of his half-brother Enlil to bring joy to the rulers of the lands. Because at this time, all kingship descended from Nibiru. So Inki rece receives full approval from Anlil to organize the world for the common good of rulers. Precisely, in my opinion, what the United States is doing right now. In the first part, it shows without a doubt Inky's actions is for the common good of the land and humanity as a whole. In the second part, but his great brother Enlil says to organize the world so it's good for its rulers and its inhabitants, so everything is balanced with the Mies or the computerized tablets of destinies. In part three, although the myth is partly damaged, it states Ishtar doesn't understand why she didn't receive any special office in running the universe and our world. Anana Ishtar states, Anana, me, the woman, why did you treat me in a different way? I am the holy Anana. Where, what are my functions? She asks. Inky states, young Anana, what did I keep you from? What more could we add to you? The intentions of our Lord God Inky are clear. To establish good life, good relationships, good trading partners, joint work, partnerships, empowerment, joy on all levels, and a unified world and planet with the ultimate goal of everyone on the planet all working together for the common good of all. This myth is, fir is first Inky's way, then Anana Ishtar's. And the final words of the essay are, Praise Father Inky. Also, it's a very important step Inky put in place to manage the new world order on a daily basis is the sun god Utu Shemesh. 
as the all-seeing eye of justice. His temple was called E Babar, or simply the White House. So our White House, our government, is to carry out the UN Agenda 21 as a signer. And from the White House, for Inky's New World Order, so did Utu Shemesh. Back then, delegate the world order from the White House. Wow. No such thing as coincidence. My advice to you is to be still and have faith in the mysterious ways of the Anunnaki gods. There is so much hope in this great awakening. Maybe not right now because we're in the storm, but out of every bad situation comes something good. Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord Inky, plans for your welfare, and not for evil, but to give you a future and a hope. You know what they call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> Don't be a fake noodle. Remember your DNA in this great awakening and turn this test into a testimony. Because you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Peace and love.